they do what they do. This is their lifestyle. But I didn't have to be honest with myself and say that it would be hard to take in blood and drink it, you yeah. know, a cup full. It's different. Yeah, 100%. It is. It is. But <laughs> it is different. Hey, when you it see that deep it. nod, when you see that deep nod, <laughs> it is different. That's some real talk right there for you. <laughs> Good y'all, it's the Duma Shets Ria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys. All right, join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. PC. Hello, how are you? Say hello to Mr. Mpc, head of this village. You shake hands here, yeah? Really? We do it like this. Like this? And oh, that's okay. perfect. And his day starts like most people's, with breakfast. So you have some tea right here. Do you usually have tea in the morning? I do with this. A breakfast of tea and bread may sound familiar to most, but the way this bread was made is truly unique. So this is a kitchen. It does lack maybe like a fan. Now dinner, the smoke is the medicine for the eyes. Smoke is medicine for the eyes? Ooh. That's fantastic. Zimbabwe. Hey, look. He got to watch everything he said today. No, no, no. Not happening. Hell, this going to get on. Going to get educated real quick. <laughs> this is a mixture of cornmeal and sorghum and water. That makes a batter. And instead of being something like sadza, which you see all the time, it's much more dense. And they've caked it to the walls of the pan. And then the water on the bottom bubbles and steams up, cooking the batter by way of steaming it. Well, you know what? I'm getting used to the smoke. I feel good. My eyes feel great. I'm supposed to have tears, right? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. While I flee in search of oxygen, the bread stays to bake for another 30 minutes. Then it's ready to serve. Oh, oh, oh. that looks good. How is it? It's a really interesting flavor. It tastes like whole wheat, although it's not wheat at all. But it has that whole grain kind of taste to it. The crunchy part, that's good, right? Good. A little bit of tea. Mr. MPC was born in the Midlands. I was born in 1944. But for most of his life, this is the place he's called home. How long have you been in this area? Since 1955. Wow. Very good. Trying to do the math. Hold on. I was a terrible student. His village is just 12 really miles from the me. rapidly expanding city of Victoria Falls. Over time, it's changed a lot. When we came here in 1955, it was bush. There is only one hotel, the Victoria Falls Hotel. White people were only five who were living in Victoria Falls during that yeah. time. But now it's a city. So back then, did you dress like this? No. What, what, what did you wear? Skins. From the animals you would From hunt? Animals. And what kind of animals did you hunt then? Any animal was hunted during that time. Giraffe? Yes. I just got a good testament. Oh, giraffe has good oh. meat? As the world mm. around in PC's village becomes more and more modern, traditions and customs become harder to maintain. It's not that outside forces are putting in end to what happens here, but young rebellious youth in any culture tend to seek out what's trendy, new, and different. Today, you're going to be making goat. How often does this happen? Every weekend, we should have a goat because my grandchildren are coming. They should have something to eat. So you go through 52 goats a year. That's a lot of goats. You have a nice village, man. I can tell you that. China, China, China. In PC's village consists of several tribes that make up one family. And PC belongs to the Ndebele tribe, his wife from the Tonga tribe, two of the major ethnic groups in Zimbabwe. But once a week, they gather to celebrate life. That means singing, dancing, praying, drinking. So this is like breakfast number two, but this one gets you drunk. Yeah. It's good. Real thick. Just drink with food. Yeah. With their hearts full and their stomachs empty, it's time to slaughter a goat. Uh oh. See, close your eyes. Dispatch. <laughs> Drain. Oh, no, they really don't. Butcher. <laughs> and cook. Right. From nose to tail, this goat will become several dishes that will feed many. First up, Rich. because it's the easiest to spoil. <laughs> Blood with chopped offals. Blood is good food. We have to cook it. There are certain parts, lungs and so forth, with a bit of liver. Put it with, with blood so that we mix it and cook it together. The bile is also. Oh, the bile! It's full of very, very bitter. I green. must say, 
I have like a real understanding spirit, but I, I got to be honest, I, I wouldn't, like, it would be hard to say that, you know what, I'm going to sit here and drink blood today. That would be a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. I understand why and see why they do what they do. This is their lifestyle, but I didn't have to be honest with myself and say that it would be hard to take in blood and drink it, you yeah. know, a cup full. It's different. Yeah. 100%. It is. It is. But <laughs> it is. Hey, when you see listen, that deep nod, when you see that deep nod, it is different. That's some real talk right there for you. And listen, this we love Zimbabwe. Can okay? we be honest, though? This is not picking on nobody. Nah, this don't do that. It's not looking down on nobody. Y'all know our like love that. from Africa. Come on, man. When we watch what it was, the Faroe Islands, and mm. they was making some blood pudding, we said the same thing. Mm. Uh, Y'all want real in, in honesty? That's the only thing we got. It's okay? the raw footage. That's only. That's all we have. Uncut. We can't be fake around here. All right. Mm. Liquid. That green liquid medicine is an oh, wow. anti-inflammatory. Even oh, if wow. you've got gout. Help. Yes. Oh, if you wow. got gout. This is gonna be. <sighs> Hey, so like, I haven't like, heard that word in a long time. <laughs> hey, that answers your question right there. You said why he looks so young, or he looks so healthy still. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's in the blood. It's in the blood. I eat the blood when it's cooked. I mean, that's why it, that's that's the truth. That is the truth. I mean, no matter how much you drain it, no matter how much you clean, you can't get rid of all the blood in it. It's uh, cooked. It's cooked. Our smothered chicken. We eat smothered chicken a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of our down. staples of Southern cooking. You got to brown it on each side. What's, what's coming out now? Blood. Mm. Oh, It's blood. cooked, though. I'm about to exit this <laughs> building because you don't think about it. You just took it. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Quite the starter course. The pot is seasoned with salt and placed on the stove. As the blood turns over the heat, it changes from scarlet to a muddy black. Blood. Here, blood, blood represents being. So eating blood means gaining life. So the blood is finished? It's not blood, no, it's food. Right, it's food. <laughs> Bro, is getting I did have goat blood with that on my first day in Zimbabwe. It was good, man. It tastes better than I thought. But here we have the bile mixed in, so it should be more bitter, right? Tasty. Is this is blood? Yes. I'm good. Good food. I'm pretty good. <laughs> I love the texture. It's very sticky. It's salty, but it's like naturally salty. I don't taste any bitterness. The bile is in there. It's in. Oh, cool. Oh, it's this one's liver. That tastes good. Oh. Jeez. Why? No, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, classic liver flavor. Much more firm, solid. That's wild. So are you usually eating this first? That's what you eat first. And it gives you energy and appetite. So finish no. that. <laughs> That's the fat, right? The fat is really gummy. Like, it's impossible to chew, but you just squeeze all the flavor out of it. Yes. And there's delicious oils. You never get sick of this? No, 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 no. Sick. You can even check it. Never get spoiled. Do you do that sometimes? You hide it for yourself? What's the secret? What's the real secret? Listen, I am a beauty enthusiast, okay? Come on now. I love skincare. I'm a skincare junkie. Huh. What is he using on the skin? Hopefully he'll get there, because... Born in 1944. 44. Looking like a 40-year-old man. We gotta see when this video was, when he uploaded this one, cause man, my boy looking right now. I'm told that you also do African medicine. Yes. Do you call it African medicine or do you call it something else? It's medicine. That makes sense, you're in Africa. Zimbabwe has a long history of using plants for medicinal purposes, a practice most locals still opt for. That is devil's law. It's good even for malaria and it heals heart problems. Mm. Can you heal a broken heart? This right, rich though. medical knowledge is passed down from generation to generation. Right. Mpisi okay, learned his this. craft from his grandfather. This one. There are some people who can't even make a woman pregnant. That's what you use. How many kids do you have? Only seven. Okay. Only seven. Though many may dismiss traditional medicine without a second thought, it may be sobering to know that fully 40% of modern medicines are derived from plants. Even if you are coughing, got flu, got backaches, headaches, you just put it in water. Take aspirin, for example, launched into the world from willow bark. Oh, I mean, it tastes like medicine. It Bet tastes X. very bitter. Right now, the only medicinal healing I need is from food, and I'm in luck. I like your style here. It's like little appetizers <laughs> throughout the day. Yes! This here is grilled goat liver. Using the goat skin as a cutting board, chop the liver open and spread it on a mesh grill with some fat on top. You ready to cut, boy? One more like that? Goat skin? Mm -hmm. goat skin? A little bit different feeling because before it was boiled. And a different test. When you are eating food, you should have a variety of tests. You're speaking my language. 
Variety is the spice of life. So the other one was more full of water, really soft. This is a little more like chewy and like a harder outside, some smokiness. I like it, it's almost like a jerky. How long can you save this, for a few days? You can put it on this, hang it for some days. In many rural areas like this, hanging and smoking is the most effective way to preserve freshly butchered meat. Hanging food here in this part of Africa scares me because I even saw baboons in the city. Do baboons ever come here? They do. And do they ever attack your village? No. No. We still have this one, like us human beings. They have got a role in our society. Don't leave wild animals food which is eaten by human beings. They change their behavior. But if we live in harmony, we talk to them, they move away. Really? You can see lions, they come to you, pretend as if you have got a lot of energy. That's why, baby, Africans will always have my respect, okay? Because Ethiopia, they, they talk to the hyenas. And the, the hyena hyenas was first. Mm hmm. Yeah. But Papa okay. lost me when he said talk to them. Papa, I'm gone. I'm oh, already at the airport. Man. Ain't no talking for me. <laughs> Shoot. Approach them. Don't fear. They can feel that you fear. And say, ah, that's they're true. But if you attack, they fight you. Right. So they no animal is dangerous. It's us human beings. The expert himself. During MPC's lifetime, he's experienced a transition from game meat to pasture animals. And even these. Rabbits are prized for their lean meat, but just as much for their fur. Holy cow! <laughs> this is a rabbit skin blanket made oh, from 36 good. rabbits. I saw it, Manuel. This one, when you put it there, it's very good. Mm. I like it like this. Normally, mm. the rabbits are dispatched, carefully skinned, and sized up for the blanket. This one's more. Hey, maybe you can make a pillowcase. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> the remaining carcass is grilled over charcoal with a touch of salt. Right he now. said I had his permission to enjoy the rabbit, and he said that the rabbit is one of the most nutritious animals they have. He said more nutritious than chicken, more than beef, and I think possibly even more than goat. I'm gonna try this part right here. Oh, wow. These little things, not testicles, that would be down there. These are. You gotta think about it. He's talking about a health a health expert here, somebody yeah. who practices medicine. Mm-hmm. You, you, know you know what he's talking about. These. It looks like a wood tick that sucked on a dog for too long and got big and fat. <laughs> Yummy. Like juicy, he's like, like sausage. I mean, so far <laughs> this trip in Zimbabwe, we've been eating a load of meat. Cow, sheep. We're gonna have goat soon. Sunny always go for the kidneys. He like that. As you can tell, in, he does. In almost all the videos, he yeah. goes straight for that. So I don't think he have an issue with drinking blood. Nah, at all. <laughs> We've had rabbit, we've had chicken, we've had guinea fowl, fish, you name it. People here really like and appreciate meat. And so do I. Is that the heart? It could be the heart. Oh, oh no, I mean, Mr. Mbisi said he could fix a broken heart. Is it too late? Don't eat it. Hmm? Let's try it out. Oh, it's awesome. I'm gonna break this back leg off. There we go. So take a look at this meat. Super white, very lean, and it's probably not gonna be juicy. I'm guessing the juiciest part was that kidney. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. A bit firm, but not bad at all. This is quite delicious. It's not really dry. You'd think it'd be a lot more dry for being just a lean rabbit. It's a little chewy. Man, I'm falling in love with the smokiness of it. In all my times coming to Africa, this is one of my most unique experiences so far. I know we're just mid-video. I'm giving you a mid-video update. It's kind of heartbreaking when you realize and see and experience how beautiful the traditions are here. And you know that what you see today is still a diluted version of what once was. Right now, in BC, the family, they're finishing up the goat. The real main meal is about to begin, so... I better get going. Like many tribes around Africa, some of the sacrificed animal parts are strictly allocated to men. What we ate earlier, that's for men. And others to women. The breast or a short rib, cultural is for women. For dinner today, we've got sorghum sadza, African cabbage, and something known as zinyenze. More on that soon. So I've got some of the African cabbage. Oh yeah, that's so fresh. But it's a little bit bitter. Do you put bile in this? Nothing. Okay, oh, so this is something I've never seen before. This is a piece of goat tripe wrapped tight with intestines. Oh. Mm. The ingredients, or should I say the goat stomach and intestines are thoroughly cleaned and then cut down to size. Each piece of tripe is wrapped with intestine, forming an elongated sausage-like shape. Now boil these works of art with salt until they reach the desired level of tenderness. That's so cool, but it looks pretty gnarly too. Oh my god, like a perfumer. Feel the daisies. That's good food. I, yeah, it smells so good.
Uh huh. Okay. The taste is better than the smell. Can I say that? It's better than the smell. <laughs> I love the texture. It's like squishy, squeaky, like some overcooked calamari. I've mixed the salsa with it to dilute the flavor a little bit. What's your favorite part? This one right here? Yeah. I gotta say, the more I take bites, the more I like it. It smells of gastric acid, but when you're eating it, it's not really bitter. It's just kind of savory. What do you think? Big fan? Thank you. Too much. I like that. <laughs> As you may have noticed, men and women tend to sit and eat separately. Women can talk about women's stuff, and guys can talk about guy stuff. That's what NPC says. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the men issues? You know, it's hard to tell women that I have lost of libido. I have what? Loss of libido. Oh, yeah, no one wants to admit that. But we can discuss it if we are men together. Instead of discussing my own libido status, I figure it's better to move on to the next topic, the goat leg. Grilled over fire until it's well done and seasoned with a bit of salt. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to try this out. Oh, yeah. my man, very nice. Super smoky. Are you using mopane wood? Yes, mopane and chick. Great flavor. It's juicy and tender on the inside. Yeah, Almost no gamey goat flavor at all. It's like the opposite of the, 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 the intestines in the stomach. It's so different. Yeah, it's yeah. so different. Well, the wood, the, gives, the wood can also give it a flavor. Okay. So different types of wood helps the meat have a different level yeah. of flavor. That's why coal has that smoky mm -hmm. taste when we're barbecuing. I wonder if it's sweeter. I hate it. It depends on the tree. Okay. Yeah. But now it tastes better because we have tested that one. Mm -hmm. That is part of the flavoring. That makes sense. I like that. I want to ask throughout the day, I've gotten your perspective on what it's been like to grow up in this area and to see the world around you change so much. Now, you're an elder. You have children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. What do you want for your great-grandchildren as they grow up? The young people, they like to depend. We're changing their mindset. Educate mm. them, let them be involved. Teach them all survival skills in order to survive. And how tough it is. We work as a team to a collective. That collectivity makes us to go somewhere. Us choosing our own destiny, not to be planned by other people. That's you see that? Sunlight up the sky. Sir, it's been a pleasure, an amazing day. Thank all of you for allowing us into your community, into your village, and for uh, letting us learn more about the people here. And I hope you enjoyed the food. And I love the food too. <laughs> 10 out of 10, hey. fantastic. Best ever food of you I'm show a, is a small say, bro. This gentleman was a great representation for this village. Yeah, and Zimbabwe. He showed Zimbabwe. a lot of love, a lot of love, and for Zimbabwe, 100%. Yeah. Like, once you see the beauty of Africa, and how is rep is represented? You cannot see it. You know. Yes, yes. Our Zimbabwe supporters are some of the sweetest people. Yeah. For real, y'all have been patient, <laughs> but y'all are some of the sweetest people. So like, if y'all are anything like him in person, baby, we got to meet you. Mm. All right. Listen, I felt like I was listening to my grandfather. Nah, I heard you. The yeah. whole time. Yeah. I wish he would have got to that skincare, though. <laughs> yeah, he's legit, man. I, I hope there's yeah. more information out there that he offers, you know? Yeah. Y'all let us know about this village. Do y'all know about this village? Like, mm. is this a village that all the, you know, the tourists go to? Let us know. Mm. All right. So, we hope you guys enjoy this video with 100%. us. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.